Hey guys, this is my first ever YouTube video, so be patient with me please. Uh, and this is also the first ever upper receiver assembly that I've ordered. Uh, this is from CBC Industries. I was really excited for it to arrive. Uh, shipping was pretty quick. Uh, the price on the upper was pretty reasonable. And um, so at first I was, I was pretty impressed. Aesthetically, I think it looks great. Um, but the closer I looked, the more problems I started seeing. Uh, first of all, I already pulled them out, but when I looked down the front of the barrel, I saw a bunch of shavings. I've got a picture, actually, that I took before that. I'll see if I can get it in the video here. Uh, but I put a magnet in the front of the barrel and just came out with a ton of all these shavings you can see. So really, not the biggest deal in the world since I'd uh, clean it anyways before using it, but I was just surprised that the quality control left all these shavings in the front of the barrel. I'm sure that happens when they cut the rifling in. Um, but whatever. So there's that. Um, the other thing I noticed, and again, it's not really a, a huge deal, but the forward assist here looks like it's been used like a thousand times. It's just totally scratched and scuffed up. It seems to work just fine. Um, but you can see all that wear on it. And I've got a couple other rifles um, that I've actually been using, and I don't really ever need to use the forward assist, but I've got some used rifles that uh, don't have nearly the wear that this one does. So just for a new item, I don't know, I thought it looked kind of crummy. Um, then the third thing, and this one's kind of bugging me the most, when I first got this rifle, it came with a dust cover that would not stay in the closed position, um, no matter what. It just wouldn't stay closed. So I was thinking at first that it was just kind of, you see this detent spring looks kind of, or the detent itself looks really kind of worn. Um, it looks kind of crooked, so I thought maybe that was the problem. So I called CBC Industries, uh, they were really happy to send me a new dust cover kit, um, for free. They shipped it to me for free, it got here pretty quick, so I thought that would solve my problem. So I installed that a few minutes ago, here's the new one on there now. Um, really easy to do, plenty of videos out there on how to do that. Um, but again, it, it won't stay closed, and this one's got a nice... Uh, good spring on it, good detent on it, um, no problems with that, it wasn't crooked or anything, but again, it just, it won't stay closed, and I see like that, and it stays closed for a second, a little bit of impact, and uh, open it comes again. I realize I don't, I'm not in a combat situation, I don't need a dust cover per se uh, to keep grime and dirt out and stuff crawling around. Um, I don't really need it per se, but when I buy a brand new upper receiver, I expect it to have a dust cover that will work. That's the point of this, um, this part here, and it ought to work. So even with the new one, you can see it's not working at all. So then I noticed something. Um, let me grab a different gun here real quick. On this gun... You can see where the where this pin engages, there's a little cutout right here. So when it locks into place, it's there secure, and it won't come open again until the bolt comes forward and pushes it open. So you can see that extra bit of machining there for that ball to engage. The closer, so now I took a closer look at this CBC one and it has no such machining it's just smooth uncut metal right across there so really there's nothing for this to hang on to and that's why it just keeps opening there's nothing for it to engage with so any slight bump or vibration or sometimes not even anything it just causes it to open again so kind of disappointing i'll call cbc again see what they'll do um, I don't know if this is just a defective upper or if they just skipped that part of the machining process on their uppers and this is normal. I guess if you guys have any feedback, I'd appreciate hearing it. Uh, we'll see what they do, but so far, aesthetically, I think it looks great. Um, but the fit and finish and quality, uh, I'm just not thrilled with so far. So we'll see what they do. Thanks for watching.